got ourselves another recovery this time we are in south sacramento it is 9 a.m sunday morning we got a big old chevy out here buried shoo yeah buddy thing's got a big lift kit on it this is soft soft ground this is how we got it set up right we're gonna go right for the kinetic rope bump it two or three times see if that moves so on this end we're not hooked up to that ball hitch we have a bridle going underneath it so that is a four inch by ten foot rhino usa tree saver it's rated for a brake strength of just over forty thousand pounds and then we have that paired with the same thing but 30 foot rope 30, i'm sorry 30 foot toe strap 30 foot kinetic this is the one inch rated for uh, just over 34,000 pounds. Guys, this is one of the best kinetics on the market. A lot of companies make kinetic ropes. Most of them cost three, $400. We retail this one out for 150 bucks. And to my knowledge, it's one of the only kinetic ropes out there with a lifetime warranty on it. So we put the kinetic in the middle and then we paired it with another 30 foot, four inch toe strap. And that is connected to a bridle. So I'm running off of both of my deer rings because I have the winch. Usually I like running off of that hitch shackle, but uh, I run it off of both D rings, bridle, toe strap in the middle, tree saver on this end. So we have roughly 100 feet right now. It's hard ground up here a little bit, but if I start spinning too much, I can definitely sink and break through. But uh, we're going to go ahead and give it a, a pull. All right, so we're set up. Got everything hooked up, and right now I'm just going to pull up to find the end of the rope. You'll see me do this in some videos. I may not have explained it, but right there I'm just I'm gauging the distance that I have. I'm seeing where that rope gets tight. What you don't want to do is just gun it right from the start and have 20 foot of slack. And uh, When you do that, you could definitely exceed the brake ratings of your carrier hitch or your toe strap or whatever it may be. So it's better to do smaller bumps than one large bump. You can progressively get harder, but that's also risky because yeah, you, you know it, the, the harder you get, the first time it doesn't come out, and then you end up breaking stuff. So, what I found over the years is multiple smaller bumps is well, usually better than one or Once you two move heavy under, hits. So you can get. So what we're doing now is repositioning. After I've already made a couple hits, you can see that the ruts again. are starting to form. We don't want to keep going in that same path. So I back up, I turn the wheels, I get out of those ruts, and then we start again. Watch this kinetic rope stretch. This is the beauty of a kinetic. It is not a hard impact on either vehicle. Watch this. Stretches out and pulls yeah, me right like, back. Super no smooth. You got no traction. No, I think we're going to have to dig on him. That, that front end is freaking buried. Yeah, that's pretty gnarly. Would you like some? Oh. Turn your wheels to the left a little bit. There you go, right there. One more time. Turn, turn driver, left, turn left, go, go. Oh, stop. Hit him hard. Nope, stop. Go. Hold on, stop. Stop. All right, a little more digging. And then uh, 
two or three more bumps out of it and then after that it's it's winch time if this doesn't work but we got it dug out traction boards under there again this front end came up quite a bit so the passenger side is up and out still got some boards under there i'm just working on that driver side right now if we can get that one to come up and out should be able to just continuously pull it we only need to go 20 feet and we're good it's just tough lots of digging on this one i know a lot of you are probably yelling at the tv right now just saying to winch it but when you're winching on slick ground like this, it's just gonna drag my Jeep into that truck. And then we hook up both Jeeps and it's gonna drag both of them into that. So that's why we opted for kinetic ropes. Watch my last video, same terrain, same style. It drug four vehicles into one stuck vehicle. So this was my best option at the time. If I had a good anchor, I would have winched it. Okay, keep your wheels straight, just like that. Go. Stop. Yeah, as soon as He's almost got you, you are like. But keep it like this. Go ahead, keep, your keep your foot on the brake though. There you go. Go, go. Okay. Yeah, as soon as he stops moving. Stop. Oh, oh he's still trying to pull. Never mind. Hold on, Wes. Back up one more time. We got it, we got it. Let's double this up and you're good. I was going to have you just move your Jeep and. Oh, you're going to go through the gut gully though? Once I get to the road, we're solid. Here. Yep. I don't want to slide into your Jeep though. Got 10% battery left. <laughs> I tell you, dude, what, two minutes it drops 10%. These batteries are crap. And I'm pretty sure there's a brand new battery in here too. Freaking GoPros. Hey, we got it though. I'm almost to the road. Once I'm on concrete, we're good. It'll pull it right out. Turn towards the left. Straighten your wheels out, turn left. Left, left, right there. Turn a little bit to your passenger side. Right there. Good, right there. I don't see that. You will watch me get out of here first, right? Yeah, yeah, you're good. <laughs> you should be able to no, just back right out. Roll out of here like yeah. you here. It's going to cost you some more beer from here on out, you know. Oh, man. He called me last night and he's like, how much are you going to charge me? I was like, dude, I don't charge. He's like, you drink beer? And I was like, yeah, of course light. He's like, all right, there we go. All right. I wanted to give a quick update. Uh, if you saw my last video, I am back in Florida. I'm actually in St. Pete Beach to be specific. Uh, but yeah, I don't, know, I don't know how I did it. Sometimes just things fall in line and all the stars line up, but I managed to get myself a little beach bungalow. Pretty proud of it. I've always wanted a little beach house and I finally was able to do it. Um, it is a rental. I'm only gonna be here for probably the end of summer, or at least until maybe next year, and then I'm gonna try and buy out here. But I know this is totally unrelated, but I did wanna show you guys something a little that I think is cool. Got a chill little spot right here. Don't I got I got to do some landscaping. Don't worry about that. Just moved in, but uh, boom! That is the freaking water. That's the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah, this is my view every day. It's pretty freaking awesome. 
and then uh, I go fishing right here, man. There, I don't know if you, any of you guys fish, but uh, there's tons of sheep's head snook. I saw some big old snook right off of that wall. Um, lots of snapper. That's pretty much what you get over here. Actually, there was a guy catching trout down here not too long ago, but pretty awesome place. And then right there is the actual beach. That's public beach access that way. So quick walk. I'll be fishing my heart out out here all the time. That guy has a freaking bird on his shoulder. That's a cockatoo. These birds are like, what the hell is going on here? I think I just saw a bunch of trout right here shining. I don't know if you can see it in there, but it's hard to tell. I'm pretty sure there's trout. There's a ton of bait fish right here and they're just darting in on them, hammering them. All you see is just super quick flashes in the water. Big old school of bait. And wouldn't you know the day that I moved in, they started demolishing the seawall. So it's going to be a month or two before they have that fixed. But usually that straight line view right there, uh, no fence or nothing. And then check this out, guys. We got the new, the newest Rhino trailer. This is a, an event trailer that I had custom built. Like I mentioned in my other video, I'm going to be touring the East Coast this summer. Um, a lot of the off-road events, so we're going to be in Pennsylvania, I believe New Jersey, Ohio, South Carolina, Tennessee. I'm going up to the Panhandle of Florida next week. But, uh, but yeah, we're going to put a big old wrap on this thing. It's pretty freaking cool, and I think the coolest thing about it is uh, it's seven feet tall. I had one before. The other event trailer we had, I stepped up on the back of it and it's six feet tall and almost knocked myself out. I was carrying a load of boxes. So on this one, I was like, first thing we gotta do, make it seven feet tall. Those of you that have been watching my channel for a while, you remember the giveaways that we were doing last year. Every video we were giving away a product. Unfortunately, that got a lot to, to manage. It was a lot to keep up with and it was pretty expensive to do. So now what we're gonna do is one power box giveaway per month and in order to enter to win that you have to like the video be a subscriber and most importantly comment on the video the comments are what really helps the algorithm so once per month i'm going to go through all the videos that were posted that month and pick a random comment and you will win a power box filled with all types of accessories and goodies and swag so again to recap Drop a positive comment on this video. I'll pick a winner once a month. And as always, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. I definitely appreciate all that. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe. It means the world. It helps me out tremendously. And then on top of that, Rhino USA just came out with a bunch of new products. Check out our website. We have a new changing pop-up tent, um, new drop hitch. And I think the one of the my favorite items they just came out with is the retractable ratchets. I'll put in a, a link to that, show you a picture. If you've never seen a retractable ratchet, it's an absolute game changer. Don't forget, use my code 4x4Rescue. It's only valid on our website. You get 10% off.